Okay, we have here today another integral from the MIT integration B from 1991. This was finals, problem one. We have the integral of EX times X minus two over X cubed DX. Okay, now the first thing I noticed is it's kind of a little hard to deal with in this form. Like I don't see an obvious U substitution. I think integration by parts might work, but it just might be a little messy that way. What I actually wanted to do is, let's see what happens if I kind of just rearrange this. What I could do is I can distribute in the E to the X and I also can divide everything through by x cubed. So if I do it that way and we distribute in e to the x, we're gonna have x over x cubed. So I can write this as e to the x times x to the minus two. And then for the second term, when I distribute the e to the x into the minus two, we're gonna have minus two. I can write this as x to the minus three, e to the x dx. But just by rearranging it into this form, I think it becomes clear what's happening because Notice, just looking at x minus 2, if you take the derivative of that, the derivative is right there. It's going to be minus 2x to the minus 3. And then similarly with e to the x, well, the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So it looks like what we have right here is just the product rule. So for the product rule, we have, if we have two things, f times g, and we take the derivative, it's going to be derivative of f times g plus f times the derivative of g. The nice thing with this, if you just take the integral on both sides of this equation, then looking at the left side of the equation, we've got the integral of a derivative. So integrating this derivative, it's just gonna be f times g. So we just need to make sure we have our integral in this form here, and then we'll have our solution over here. So first, let's start with, let's start right here with this x to the minus two. So if that, I'll call that my g. I'll say g equals x minus two. And then to find g prime, we take our derivative, this is gonna be minus two x to the minus three. So this will be our g prime right here. And then here we'll call this f. f is gonna be e to the x, but of course we know f prime is gonna be just, again, e to the x, which we have right here. So we have our integral in exactly this form here. So we can go to our solution, f times g. We have that just right here. So, so for our solution, this is just gonna be e to the x times x minus two, but I'm gonna write that in the denominator as over x squared plus c, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Good quick problem from MIT 1991. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.